10 things you should know before moving to Germany. Are you planning to move to Germany? Good choice, Germany is a beautiful country and you will love it. But there are certainly a few things you should know about before coming. So let's talk about the things that are most important for you to know before moving to Germany. Where in Germany will you live? Where in Germany are you going to move to? Berlin, Hamburg, Frankfurt, or maybe to a smaller town? Germany is a huge country consisting of 16 federal states. Each state has its own atmosphere. You will get different job opportunities. Maybe the size of the salary differs. How expensive your rent is going to be. The behavior of the people, traditional food and culture. Well, if you already accepted a job in a specific city, then at least you know where you're going to move to. But if you have your options open, think about it first. I really recommend that you would travel the country and get to know each area. It is something I have done too. So I went to Bavaria and looked at a few different cities that I had looked up. Then I went uh, to Rheinland-Pfalz, to Baden-Württemberg, also you can consider the north, but it's really important to take your time to consider. I've also made another video on how expensive it is to live in which city. So check it out if you have the time. Now let's move to number two, dealing with the language. Do you know German? Well, in Germany, most people speak German. It's pretty logical, isn't it? But it's different than in the northern country, Scandinavia, where you will have many people responding to you in English. In Germany, in Berlin, yes, you will find many people speaking English, but in other regions, not so much. And if they, the people are older, they won't be able to speak English very often. And also, young people don't like to speak English very much. It depends on who you're facing, where you are, but German is a must. So prepare before you come, get an A2, a B1 level, um, do a German course before you come to Germany. And when you are in Germany and you still don't have a good level of German, the first thing you should do is do another course. You will also find a basic German course on my YouTube channel. So let's go to number three, finding accommodation. Where can you find a place to live in Germany? Well, in the major cities like Berlin, Hamburg and Munich, it is really hard to find an apartment. So it is good that you look, um, look on different platforms before you come. I know some people who it took six months to find a long-term place to live in Berlin. So you better start early. In Germany cities, it's hard to find a flat because of high demand and increased prices. And the biggest problem is for a foreigner that you need the documents. So make sure you have your documents in place and you know where to find an apartment, you need a bank account and you need to prove your income when you are trying to get an apartment, especially in the big cities in Germany. Number four, furnishing your new home. After renting an apartment, you have to furnish it. In most cases, when you rent a place long-term in Germany, it will be completely unfurnished. It can even happen that the place doesn't even have a kitchen. So it really depends who you, who you rent it from, but it's a, common, it's a common practice in Germany. You could be lucky and find a place that at least has a fully equipped kitchen, a fully furnished bathroom, and a closet, but that often is not the case. So how do you furnish an apartment in Germany or a house? Um, you can go to Ikea, you can go to the big um, furnishing stores. There are many options in Germany. Look around, there are also some other names that you might not be acquainted with, like Porta, Höfner, there are many brands that also compete with IKEA and have very good options. Number five, bureaucracy in Germany. You might think that's a stereotype, but sorry, my friend, it isn't. 
After moving to Germany, you will start to receive many letters, starting with a bank card, a pin, but also ending with a bill for radio or the TV. Germans love paperwork. They don't care about paper saving. No, not really. Germans will send you a lot of paper. You will need to check your mailbox every second day. I actually recommend it daily. Number six, transport in Germany. Germany is well known for having an excellent public transport system. And it has some of the best roads in Europe. The roads in Germany are great. And if you own a car, it will be very easy to move around. There are many connections and it's very good. Public transport usually isn't as cheap. So prepare to pay some extra bucks. But the public transport is usually quite good. Although Germans are very upset if the public transport um, comes late for five minutes. You will experience it. But also you can move around by bike. The bicycle ways in Germany are quite, uh, quite good, but it depends on which city you are at. Number seven, rules in Germany. Yes, the Germans love their rules. And although depending on where you come from, it might be something that you need to get used to, it's not that bad because in the end, if everybody plays by the rules, it's a better place, isn't it? But sometimes they also have very funny rules. Like if you cross um, a red light when nobody is around and somebody sees you, they will not like it and tell you that you're a bad example for the children. Or take recycling. Germans are obsessed with uh, recycling. They have um, a bucket for paper, then there is the organic trash, then they will have one for plastic, then some items you have to tear apart to recycle each, each part of the item. So this is something to really get used to. Number eight, the German culture. Like every nation, Germany has a specific culture and at first parts of their culture might feel strange to you, but that could be said about any culture. Most foreigners see Germans as cold people because they don't love hugs and kisses. But after a time, you will definitely discover that Germans love to talk, talk, talk. Let's look at number nine. Money in Germany. Germany, like many other European countries, uses the Euro. What's different from many other European countries, however, is that very often the German prefer to pay old school with cash. Germans love to pay with cash. I have even heard about a few cases where small German villages created their own cash so that they could pay um, only at the bakery and earn it within the community. They really love their cash. Number 10, Sundays in Germany. Most foreigners, when they first visit or move to Germany, they don't know one very important fact. Sundays in Germany are sacred. Sunday is called Ruhetag, a rest day. It is a day that people relax, stay home, and there's no shopping. Most shops, cafes, and other stores are closed on Sundays. This means that in Germany, you need to plan your shopping and make sure you have food in the house for Sunday. I hope these things will help you to prepare your move to Germany. And if you're already living in Germany, please leave some of your tips in the comments.